This is the bottle I showed you in my last movie with the Paramecium. I added a little more food and it's about a week, week and a half later. And I wanted to show you what it's doing now. This is about as thick as a culture will get. And the really good part of it is, is that I've got a, a tank full of little cherry bar babies. And I just discovered a tank that underneath the mop is 30 or 40 Corridorus gossii fry that are just, just now free swimming. So this huge quantities of paramecium that you see here are about to get a big turkey baster full into a couple of tanks. So this method for growing the paramecium and the other little rotifers and stentors and whatnot works really well. Thank you for watching. I didn't realize, but yesterday I put a bunch of little three-quarter inch panda fry in here and I had no idea that this tank had all these gossii. So I've got to get a nice big scoop of this stuff and then see if I can get me out of the shadow. I take my paramecium and I get right down inside the mop because I know where these fry are. Scoop up some more. These fry are, are hiding down in this mop, so that's where I need the food to go. So I just squirt it right down in there. Now I'm going to try and lift the mop to show you. If it's a larger fry, it's a panda, and if it's just tiny, 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 it's a gossii. See, there's a panda. Oh, oh, I don't know if you saw the little reflection, but there one of Gossii went scooting by. Let's try over this other direction. They are so tiny. Now I got to get this closed down because I'm afraid the pandas are in there eating them. <laughs> 